there are five areas that we should work on what are these five areas first is a beginner's mindset now when i say beginner's mindset how is this particular mindset different from a mindset of a person who considers himself or herself as an expert okay. and i am also you know learning a lot on on this so in beginner's mindset there are certain uh, things which exist there are certain novelties there are certain areas what do you feel are certain areas where a beginner is different from an expert you can either unmute yourself and give an answer or you can just type your reply what do you think is unique about the beginner's mindset ajit what what do you feel is difference between beginner's mindset and an expert's mindset beginner is a person who i mean not aware or not have enough knowledge but a expert is really have experience has knowledge about the things Okay. so there's a huge difference between beginner and expert because expert who know everything and a beginner who may not aware about the things that a expert have okay okay so beginner starting from a place of not knowing okay so that is there whereas expert starts from a place of that i know it all great three your thoughts comments no i second what you and as it said uh, beginner is more uh, probably open to learning than an expert so they are starting from ground zero if i might say so uh, than an expert who is already starting with like a class that is half full <laughs> well that's that's uh, very well described that exactly the the place where a beginner starts is that you know it's like a empty slate it's like a completely blank slate and that itself is giving the beginner an edge where where we say that in a beginner's mind there are lot of possibilities but in an expert's mind there are few it simply means that if if you know there is a kind of a noviceness there is a kind of a uh, um, you know a not knowing attitude with which a beginner starts and the beauty of that is when somebody is starting without not knowing anything they are not afraid of asking questions they are not afraid of doing things which have not been tried and they are not afraid of you know doing things which they feel like so kind of a beginner's mindset is a mindset where people are knowing that you know i am a beginner and there is no pressure in me for uh, you know sounding wise or sounding an expert or sounding uh, kind of a uh, professional in that but i can make mistakes i can ask questions and i can definitely do the things that maybe somebody else has not tried so the first key lesson that i got was that beginner's mindset or a beginner's mind is something that helps you be yourself and there's something that helps you ask questions and you know be completely blank and the way how zen describes it you know it still has to be explored further and i invite you in this uh, journey that the complete beginner or a complete that attitude it's, it's a very difficult thing to do very difficult what has happened is that in our career of x number of years there is already a set way of looking at things that we have got so the big difference is when a beginner starts they are completely free flowing energy but when an expert is doing it they are looking it from the terms of a model or a term, term of a uh, in the framework of of different things so what we are saying is that the kind of a beginner's mindset it has to be inculcated 
okay and i i'm going to give you examples around this model and uh, we'll also you know do a short discussion but uh, i want to just rest my uh, argument there by saying that the very beautiful thing that helps a lot of people to discover new things about their life is this attitude of being a complete beginner so so this is what most of the zen and the mindfulness practices they intend you to do that they invite you to become a beginner so what can be a meditation on mindfulness uh, like like a uh, beginner so one of the meditations that i came across is called walking meditation walking meditation may the only thing they are doing is that they are asking you to walk and when they are asking you to walk they are asking you to walk as if you are taking your first step with every step okay now when you are taking that conscious decision to realize as a beginner that you are taking your first step then you are paying attention to something that you have that you have maybe not focused on you know in the thick and thin of life and in the busyness of life the busyness of our business we forget to experience these areas which are so unique okay ajit i know uh, you have a son and uh, his name is swarnim so swarnim's first step you know was was a beginner step and similarly when we have taken the first step it was our first step but now there is a difference there is a lot of joy we find in our kids taking the first step or a baby taking a first step and that joy is available with every step so so the first thing that you know uh, these mindfulness practices they are saying is that the novelty and the joy of being a beginner it is available for us so that's around beginners mindset second thing is that they are talking about is interconnectedness and i think the best example is today's time where we see that how interconnected the world is we were talking about sunnim and sunnim is there saying hi to us hi sunnim hey everyone <laughs> hello <laughs> so he has taken his many steps many first steps and he is here <laughs> <laughs> oh lovely so friends uh, i think the the most uh, one of the another most important lesson that i got from uh, the mindfulness is the interconnectedness of of the things so when let's say they are doing a gratitude kind of a meditation in that they are thanking and they are you know sharing their gratitude for all the interconnected web of support system that we have for example let's say today we are getting our supplies in our house let's say our daily groceries or or anything you know now this product or this end supply that we are getting at the end of the day it is getting manufactured somewhere it is getting produced somewhere and in this entire chain of events there are so many people who are engaged so when they do a gratitude meditation and let's say it's like a mindful eating with uh, gratitude that time with every bite they are thanking not only the company that manufactured that processed food but people who are growing that food the people who are taking care of of that entire supply chain so much so that they are also thinking about the plants and the birds which are helping that food to grow and the gratitude is just not for the for the last person who is delivering it but to, to entire interconnected network of people who are involved in in that so see this is this is where we tend to realize that how interconnected our systems are and this is where uh, just right across to the interconnectedness i have also written i as a system because uh, one thing that you know i think i am missing and even you might be feeling is that uh, so i am i am a person who is a completely i would say that i am an introvert and i like to stay at home and this is this is my uh, most favorite uh, time uh, 
you know when i am all by myself but somewhere down in my heart i also realize that i as a individual is also i as a community i as a team i as a company i as a, a group of friends and and when i think about that that interconnectedness of our social fabric the interconnected of us in the system you know that also means a lot and it's when when you think about it you know you are you are uh, giving your energy you are giving your positivity or you are giving your uh, friendly presence not only to yourself and those around you but also to a larger group of people so so this is where you as a system you are playing a lot of uh, roles for people let's say who are completely strangers in your life but you are playing a role there and but these two concepts interconnectedness and i as a system that they help me realize that first we have to be humble because you know each one of us is a part of the puzzle so uh, so in interconnectedness i have used this jigsaw puzzle the piece of the jigsaw puzzle and each one of us is a system you know we are part of a system and and system itself in india in the the uh, indian mythology there is a saying called aham brahmasmi and that means the entire brahm is within one individual and when we are saying you know in india we we usually don't say hello and hi we usually say namaste that means the greatness within me bows down to greatness within you that means i realize that i am a part of a bigger system larger system and i also realize that you are also interconnected with me in a way and this is where mindfulness is helping us realize that you know how we are playing a key role so these are the three things flow i think there is a lot of psychology literature around it so i'll not go in detail that what are the state of flow uh, i just say in the nutshell that the mindfulness practices are helping us find out the states of flow and find out the states of uh, uh, you would say that uh, uh, a creative potential or a creative flow or a creative capacity to our best they are helping us explore that and finally true move true move is when you are not thinking from any sort of a framework when you are not thinking of a preconditioned notion or the way a preconditioned mindset works the kind of a action that you will take or the kind of a move that you make and will be a true move so what is true move a basic example is uh, we, we have all heard of this epic of mahabharata where krishna is standing in and there is a whole entire army of parvas in front of him and he fails to realize that what 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 should be my actual action okay and there are there are right and wrong and societal pressure pressures and the relationship and heart and you know all of these things come to his mind but then uh, what he realizes after that uh, after that uh, wisdom from krishna is that whatever is the true move he has to make that so a lot of times and and this beautifully connects to the decision making that we have you know a lot of times we are not able to write the uh, take the right decision and um, you know uh, there are a lot of factors in today's world that can confuse a leader okay there can be a uh, kind of a data that says a certain thing there is uh, the trends of the market which are going in one direction but the true move is 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 a move that that's kind of a gut feel so what this uh, mindfulness practice is helping us do is that it helps us tune into the wisdom of our body and find that what will be the true move what will be that uh, body wisdom what will be that that wisdom around which uh, you know we can take a decision and then make it right so this is a model in the nutshell that i want to share and in in the the middle there is a sweet spot which i have called zen lp where i say that it's a mixture of zen and nlp why because these two practices one is zen and other is nlp which have uh, given me uh, a kind of a insight so nlp talks about the awareness and zen is also talking about building that awareness you know with use of ancient mindfulness practices and ancient mindfulness uh, wisdom so this is where i call this sweet spot as zen lp where i i know that Uh, you know we have to learn about ourselves in a way how psychology and science looks into it and tune into our awareness but it's also about 
taking that insights and wisdoms of zen and uh, uh, you know uh, making the best of what we already have with us so this is all about a tool that i wanted to share and some of my mentors who have helped me uh, i would like to name them mr manish shrivastav he is the he is the uh, the master facilitator of social presenting theater in india and it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a movement which is building up where people around the world they want to tune into the uh, tune into their body and tune into the language of the body to understand what are the the probable solutions or what are the probable answers that they can get and lot of this work has been uh, defined by uh, the the work of dr otto chamer professor otto chamer of mit where uh, they have made theory u and in that theory u they are saying that first of all just like a u shape you know uh, it's it's not it's not a straight logic that works in solving problems sometimes we cannot uh, have a a very linear or logical approach to solve problems but sometimes we have to take a journey down inside and then we come outside with a with the answer so uh, you know uh, this is this is where the model stands at this point in time and i'm really happy to share it with you and these are the five key things which i personally feel is uh, are going to add value if uh, you were to start yourself in mindfulness and uh, again uh, every day i also as uh, shri said empty my cup and again i al- always start as a beginner which which i think is uh, something which is required so i'll take a pause now and uh, would like to know what are your reflections and your resonance from this model that we have shared Would you like definitely to? very uh, yeah yeah so it's definitely <clears throat> very uh, enlightening um i'm probably going to take a screenshot of uh, this model that is there on the screen uh, go back look at it and you know continue more about what you have said but right now i i just can't find it very very thought provoking and enlightening Ajit, what are your thoughts? Yeah, same as Sri says, this is a really good one. And how the things can move in someone's life as well. The ideas that can be started as a beginner. That's it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much, friends. So, uh, you know, I'll be sharing this with you and uh, Uh, there is also an article i think i'll also share the link to that and also to the resources uh, you know which uh, probably can help you in this uh, journey okay. so this is all and uh, you know that i wanted to share on this uh, saturday morning and uh, you know this is how uh, i i think this is like an invitation where you will uh, when you you will continue to walk on it or when you continue to explore it maybe there is there are new things that will come up and if something new comes up then we can share amongst us as we are you know building our knowledge and building our uh, our uh, wisdom in this 